adding columns to our tool chest. Today we're going to look into generate column layouts easily using our tool chest. So we're going to be using the concept of the tool chest that we've introduced before. Today we're going to add column layouts to them. First we're going to create a synced block that's going to keep our tool chest. We're actually going to throw the old one away. I mean it's great to be able to make dinosaurs but now we're getting into the real useful stuff. So we're picking up the four column layout we created a while ago. I'm just going to paste it here for reference, so we have it. A little trick we learned yesterday is to create a container page. So we're going to do that. We're going to create a container page for our four column layout. After creating the page, we copy the layout, we go into the page, and we paste the layout inside the page. Then we can just close it. Then we create the template button and we move the entire page inside the template button. And there are two ways to do this. So there's a little trick here we're gonna show. So as you can see, I left a blank space before the page. If you move only the page into the button, whenever you click the button, you will get a new page and you will also immediately go into edit mode for that page. If you instead do like we did here and you leave a blank space, you will create both the blank space and the page, but you will not go into the edit mode. So it's a little bit more convenient here, but it's also a little bit annoying that you get a blank space. Let's try using that four column layout just so we see how it looks. Then when you right click and turn into text, you will transform that page into the actual four column layout. Towards the top, you have the title. You can remove that. And as you can see, we're also inside a little block here. So we press backspace a second time to get rid of that. Then we duplicate the four column layout and we create a three column one. We can try that out as well. We remove the spaces towards the top and that's it. Lastly, we create a two column layout and we have the same thing, but for two columns. Let's try this new tool chest of column layouts out. So we create a new page. We start by creating a new two column layout. We transform that into text. So we have the layout as we want it. After that, we'll create a three column layout. We'll drag that inside the left column of the two column layout. And once in place, we transform that into text. And as you can see, we now have the first column that splits up into three columns. We'll do the same for the right one, but there we'll create a two column layout that we drag in, we transform it into text, and all of a sudden we have a very nice two column layout that breaks up into five columns. With these reusable components inside the tool chest, you have flexible layouts in Notion at your fingertips. A few moments later, you can create quite complex column based layout that also collapses nicely if you're on mobile. That was all I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Maybe you've given smashing that subscribe button some thought. I would be very happy if you took the big leap to subscribe today. Either way, I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a very nice day.